Lee Freelander was born on July 14, 1934, in Aberdeen, Washington. He was an American photographer known for his asymmetrical black and white pictures of the American social landscape, everyday people, places, and things. In the 1960s, Friedlander emerged, along with Gary Winogrand and Diane Arbus, as part of a generation of street photographers, using a snapshot aesthetic to capture contemporary urban life with unflinching realism. Friedlander took black and white pictures with the Leica 35mm camera. From the start, he used reflections in storefront windows, plate glass doors, and side view mirrors to complicate the viewing experience. He also incorporated street signs, doors, and windows as framing devices. In the tradition of his predecessors, Robert Frank and Walker Evans, Friedlander took frequent road trips throughout the United States, and the people and places he saw on those trips became his primary source material. In 1962 to 1963, he photographed the small televisions that were becoming ubiquitous in houses and motels throughout the country. The photographs are named by the city in which they were taken and include no people, just televisions left on in empty rooms. Friedlander was particularly well known for his self-portraits, which he created throughout his career. Self-Portrait was his first publication. Printed in 1970 by the photographer's own firm, Haywire Press, the photo book included nearly 50 images of the artist represented as a shadow or a reflection, or occasionally as visible in person. By inserting himself into photographs in indirect ways, Friedlander defied the basic rule of never letting the photographer's shadow or reflection disrupt the composition. This photograph, titled Mount Rushmore, South Dakota, 1969, found in the Museum of Modern Art Collection, stood out to me because I liked how Friedlander was showing the tourists as well as Mount Rushmore in the frame. Normally, you would only see photos of the sculpture, but Friedlander brings out a different point of view. Friedlander uses the rule of thirds in this photograph, which helped make the tourists who are looking through the binoculars and taking a photograph stand out. This image is an explanatory photograph because it includes a who, what, and where. The who being the tourist, what being what actions they are in the middle of, and where being Mount Rushmore. This is another image from the Museum of Modern Art Collection that I found intriguing, titled Minneapolis, Minnesota, 1966. This photograph is one of Lee Freelander's self-portraits. The person in the photograph is not Freelander himself, but the shadow that falls into the person is. He uses frontal light on the object of this image, which causes hard light to fall upon the subject, as well as a shadow from himself, who is standing directly in front of the subject. This image is interpretive, because the viewer does not know who the subject of the image is, where the subject and Friedlander are, and what they are doing in the photograph. Lee Freelander's work is important to the field of photography because it supports different points of view. His work to me does not evoke any sense of emotion. I believe that Freelander's work shows the world as it is and how we live in it.